Welcome to our channel, Olympiad Trainer. Here I am with the question paper of IMO, that is International Mathematics Olympiad exam for class 6, year 2019-20, set A. Question paper comprises four sections. We have already solved first section logical reasoning in part 1 video. Link of this video is given in the description box. In this video, we are going to solve mathematical reasoning. New users, please subscribe our channel Olympiad Trainer for more such solved question papers. So let's start with question 16. If 35.4067 is equal to 3 by P plus 5Q plus 4R plus 6 by S plus 7T, then the value of 2P plus 4Q plus 5R plus 7S plus 3T is You can pause the video and calculate it. Try to find out the answer yourself. Correct answer is option D. 7004.7003 Here is the solution. You can check it. Question 17 Find the measure of the smaller angle formed by the hour hand and minute hand of a clock at 8 o'clock. Think about your answer. Correct answer is option D, 120 degree. Question 18. Find the perimeter of the shaded region in the given figure. Here each small cube has side of 1 cm, sorry not cube, square. Correct answer is option D, 28 cm. Question 19. A hall is 37.5 m long and 11.2 m wide. Its floor is to be covered with rectangular tiles of size 15 cm by 7 cm. Find the total cost of tiling the hall at the rate of Rs 1.25 per tile. Solution is given here. You can see how it is solved. And correct answer is option B Rs 50,000. Question 20. Arjun is facing southeast. In which direction will he face if he takes A. One and half revolution anti-clockwise B. Three by four revolution clockwise Correct answer is option D. A is northwest and B will be northeast. Question 21. If y by x is equal to 3 by 4, then the value of this is? You can pause the video and calculate it. Try to find out the answer yourself. Correct answer is option C, 3 by 4. Here is the solution. Please check it. Question 22. If P is equal to 3 by 8 divided by 15 by 16, Q is equal to 3 divided by 8. Okay, I can't read this. You have to read it yourself and try to solve it. Correct answer is option B, P and S. Here is the solution. Question 23. Find the sum of 43,765 plus 69,054, sorry 6,954 by rounding off each number to the nearest hundred. 
you have to round off both the numbers to the nearest hundred. So the first number will become 43,800 and second number will become 7,000. Correct answer is option D, 50,800. Question 24. O is a point on the circle and P is a point on the in the exterior of the circle. Length of OP is equal to 7.5 cm and radius of the circle is 5.5 cm. What will be the length of QP if Q is the center of the circle? Now radius is given and OP length is given. So you have to find out the length QP. Correct answer will be option B 13 cm. Question 25. Which of the following figures has at least one line of symmetry? Look at the given figures carefully and try to find at least one line of symmetry and the figure which does not have line of symmetry is the answer. Correct answer is only P, Q and S. Question 26. Which of the following ratios is not equal to 3 is to 8 in its simplest form? Three options are having ratios 3 is to 8. Only one is having not 3 is to 8 and you have to find that. And that is the answer. Correct answer is option C. 141 is to 392. Question 27. Which of the following operations satisfy the commutative law of for whole numbers? Correct answer is option D. Addition and multiplication. Now for 28 and 29, the given table shows the number of sweaters knitted by Mrs. Kapoor in 7 months. Question 28. How many total sweaters did she knit in these 7 months? You have to add all the numbers. Correct answer is option B. 46. Question 29. How many less sweaters did she knit in August than in November? Now you can see in August she knitted 4 sweaters and in November she knitted 10 sweaters. So answer will be 10 minus 4, 6. Option C, 6 is the answer. Question 30. The least number which when divided by 12, 16, 24 and 48 leaves a reminder 3, 7, 15 and 39 respectively is dash. You can pause the video and calculate it. Try to find out the answer yourself. Correct answer is option D, 39. When 39 is divided by 12, remainder will be 3, when 39 is divided by 16, remainder is 7. Divided by 24, remainder will be 15. And when it is divided by 48, remainder will be 39 itself. Question 31. The given table shows the temperature of a city for 7 days. Look at the table, Monday to Sunday each day's temperature is given. On which day does the temperature increase the most from the previous day? You have to find out the difference of each two days and then the number which is largest will be the answer that is on which day the temperature increase the most from the previous day. So correct answer is option D, Tuesday. 
minus 6 minus 15 will give you minus 21 which will be the largest and so Tuesday D is the correct answer. Question 32. Find the area of the given figure. You can pause the video and calculate. Correct answer is option D 39.75 cm square. Here is the solution given. Please check your answer with it. Question 33. Select the incorrect option. Three options are correct and only one is incorrect and that is your answer. Correct answer is option C. CMLXXIV will not be 964 but it will be 974. So this is incorrect. Option C is the answer. Question 34. Simplify. Pause the video and calculate it. Try to find out the answer yourself. Correct answer is option A. Solution is given here. You can pause the video and check it. Question 35. 1054 is divided into 3 parts such that 2 times the first part, 3 times the second part and 5 times the third part are equal. Find each of the 3 parts. Correct answer is option C. 2 times 510 will give 1020. 3 times 340 will also give 1020. And 5 times 204 will give 1020. These all are same. So option C is the correct answer. Thank you for watching this video. New users, please subscribe our channel Olympiad Trainer for more such solved question papers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find the video useful and share it with your friends too. Link of part 1 and 3 videos are given in the description box.